Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please click like and subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today we're going to be adding two terabytes of memory in the expansion slot of a PS5. All right, so the first thing we want is something soft to lay our PlayStation on. Take your PlayStation with the PlayStation logo facing you. Turn it so you can see all the um, inputs on the back of it. Lay it face down. Okay, so the first time you do this, it's going to be uh, a little weird. It's going to feel weird. Underneath this side here, there's a little tab that basically just holds this in the plastic to keep it from falling off. We're going to lift up slightly on this, and while we're lifting up, we're going to push it to the left, and it'll come up. Again, you don't have to lift it high at all. This little tab is maybe a quarter of an inch at the most. So you're going to lift up a quarter of an inch here and slide it to the left so it comes off of there. That's going to let us inside to our unit. Now while you're in here, if you see dust and stuff like this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a little small uh, shop vac and just clean the inside of it out, clean all the dust out while you're in here. Uh, that'll save you some heating problems in the future. Okay, now that I got my dust out of here, or most of it, I'm going to turn it around the opposite way just so you can see a little bit better and I can see a little bit better. This little panel right here covers the expansion port. I'm going to take a Phillips screwdriver and remove the screw. Be careful to not drop your screw down in your fan or anywhere else, so make sure you hold on to it good. When you pull that screw out, lay it somewhere where you won't lose it. After you take the screw out, take a little small screwdriver or something, lift up on this cover and it comes out. That's your expansion port for your memory. Now again, this is a two terabyte uh, Lexar NM790. Had really good reviews online. We're gonna pop it in here and see how well it works. So down in here, you'll see a micro Phillips. It's kind of hard to see with the shadow, but it's right there. We're gonna take that out also. You'll need a micro screwdriver or like a glass of screwdriver. Again, very small screw. Do not drop this down in your PlayStation anywhere, especially in a fan or a motor. Set that somewhere you won't lose it. Okay, so we're going to take our expansion memory. We're going to plug it into the circuit in here. This will kind of sit down, and depending on the drive you got, you may have to lift up a little bit, push down a little bit, but it'll snap into place like that once you get it in there. You want to put your screw back in. Again, be careful not to drop it down in there. This is a little bit more difficult than it looks. Like I almost just dropped it through the fan. That would have been bad. And I'm trying to stay out of the way the camera doesn't help. But the screw will keep the uh, SSD from falling back out. If that screw hole does not line up, you don't have something in right, do it again. So tighten that screw up, your SSD is in place, we're ready to put it back together. I'm gonna take our cover. It's got a little lip on the edge here. Slide this little lip under, like so. Put the screw back in it that we said not to lose in the first place. steps putting our cover back on and if you look at the cover you'll see it's got angled little pins here those drop down into these little angled holes now remember we flipped it around so it's going to go back on the opposite way we took it off it's going to go on this way it's going to slide into place click and you're done so next thing we'll do is turn on our playstation once it boots up you're going to see this come up this is a new memory card so we need to format it if you don't format it Nothing will happen. Now it's going to tell you all the data is going to be erased. That's the data on the new cards you put in, not your existing memory. Let's go over to Format, click the button, and let it go through its process. Hit OK. Hit OK again. Now if you go up to settings, click on that. If you go into your storage, click on that. The console storage, as you can see, mine's pretty well packed up. I've got to keep deleting stuff to add stuff. But now you've got an M2 SSD storage. You'll see I've got two terabytes of memory on here. So that's all there is to adding two terabytes of memory to your PlayStation 5. Hope you like the video. Please click on like and subscribe.